is it that we respond and react when we experience change? When we experience those major life-changing moments, how do we adapt? When we experience those everyday moment-to-moment changes, how do we respond? As a middle school student, I was forced to answer these questions. In geography class, the teacher said, take out your notebooks and start copying down the notes on the board. So I pulled out my notebook from my desk, grabbed my pen, looked up at the board, and all I saw were black blobs. So I looked down at my notebook, looked over at my neighbor, and whispered, how are you writing down the notes on the board? It's nothing but black marks. She leaned back to me and said, Laura, the print is perfect. I dropped my pen on my notebook, sat back in my chair, and realized my reality. I had recently been diagnosed with the rare retinal eye disease. So I was going from a person fully sighted in a sighted world to a person without sight in a sighted world. A mentor of mine said to me, Laura, I want you to start writing down three things every day that you're grateful for. The people, the situations that you are grateful for. And as she said this to me, my immediate thought was, do you not understand? Do you not understand I'm becoming blind? My other thought was, okay, I will prove her wrong. I will prove her wrong that this is not a good idea to have gratitude in the midst of change. So in my stubbornness, I began to write down every day three things, people, situations that I was grateful for. And to my shock, to my complete surprise, my mentor was right, I was wrong. Where I thought she was saying, be grateful because you're becoming blind. She was teaching me and showing me and instructing me to become grateful for the people, the events, the situations that empowered me through the change. So what do I mean by this? One day in high school, a teacher said to me, Laura, I noticed that class change is really hard for you. So we will make the accommodation that you will leave class two minutes before class change. So that gives you time to get to your next class safely. And as she said this, I was grateful, not because I was different, not because I wanted this to happen as a teenage girl. Rather, I was grateful Because that teacher recognized my need, recognized what I was going through, and provided a solution. Gratitude. I was deeply, deeply grateful for that teacher that was that source of strength and empowerment as I adjusted to my new normal. Being grateful comes from teachers and people that we know And it also comes from complete strangers. After grad school, as I was in an internship, I had to present one Thursday morning at 8 a.m. It was 7.56, and my guide dog and I are stepping on to the elevator. I had four minutes to get to the 10th floor, set up, and begin my presentation. This morning, everything was going wrong. I was late, I was stressed by the difficulty of the day. So as I pressed the 10th button on the elevator, I leaned against the wall with tears in my eyes, 
with stress on my face, with a body language that screamed exhaustion. The person on the elevator said to me, life is difficult, isn't it? And then a few minutes later, the elevator door opened, she went to her floor, and I went to the 10th floor. That night, as I was reflecting on my day, as I was thinking about what I could possibly be grateful for from this day, I realized that 756, I realized the words that gave me empowerment. In the midst of my adjusting to becoming blind, in the midst of the stress and the difficulty of the new normal, a complete stranger recognized the difficulty and provided me a source of empowerment. Life is difficult, isn't it? So in closing, I invite us all that as we experience our change, that life-changing moment and those everyday changes that we experience, May we choose to use gratitude as a source of empowerment, being grateful for those people, situations, and events that empower us to navigate through the change.